Hello everyone. We all know lead code problems are very important and during our interview pr uh, preparation, we mostly solve lead code problems, right? So keeping that in mind, I am going to create a set of videos solving lead code problems live in the video itself. So for this, I am going to pick top 100 liked questions on lead code. Okay, so these are the top 100 most important problems available on lead code. And out of those problems, I'm going to start with the medium difficulty problems because these are the problems which are most relevant to most of the people. Okay, and in this video today, I'm going to pick this problem called longest substring without repeating characters. So let's start with the question. So the question says you're given a string S, you have to find the longest substring without repeating characters. And what is a substring? A substring is a contiguous non-empty sequence of a character within a string. Okay, so we have to find the longest substring without repeating characters. Let's see what does that mean. So if you look at this string, if you look at the substring A, is, is this a unique substring? Yes. What about AB? Is it a unique substring? Yes. What about ABC? ABC is also unique. Okay, ABC. What about A, B, C, A? This is not unique because A is repeating. Similarly, if you see this A, B, C, B, this is also not unique substring because B is repeating here. Similarly, in case of C, B, B, B is repeating. So we can say in this example, the maximum substring which has unique characters is A, B, C only. That is why the answer is 3 here. Now, if you look at the next example, all characters are B. So the output is only one, only uh, one length unique substring is there. Similarly, this PWWKW, WKE is the longest unique substring with the length of three. So with this, the question is clear. Now let's quickly look at the constraint. The length of the string can be max up to five into 10 is power four and S consists of English letters, digits, symbols, and spaces. It means S can contain all ca any character out of 256 characters present. Okay, so with that information in mind, let's start how will we solve it. Okay, so I'm going to use my drawing board to explain it better. So you are given a string S and you have to find the longest unique substring length okay so this we have to find now there are many solutions to solve this there are solutions of order n cube n square complexity but in our case what is the complexity we need so that answer is present in your constraints if you see the maximum length of the substring could be this so for this constraint we know that, and let's say this is the n, this is the length. So, order n, this complexity will work in our solution. Order n log n, will this work? Yes, this can also work. Order n square, will this work? No, order n square will not work. So, we can only use order n or order n log n solution. Okay, there is also order n root n, which can also work, but we are not looking there. So let's see how will we approach this problem. So for this problem, we can use something like a two pointer approach, right? Suppose this is my string s. Now I start two indexes, i equals to zero and my j equals to zero. So I move forward in the array right i move forward and it accumulates all the characters v stores all the characters present okay till i and if there is any repeating character what do we do we try to remove that character from our array or from a, from where we are storing it so for example let's look at an example let's say we have a b c a d b c a e a b suppose this is my string so i start i look at a is 
a present currently no so what is the current length current length is 3 then i look at ab is ab unique yes so what is my current answer current length is 2 now now look at abc is abc unique yes so again my length becomes 3 now now i look at this a b c a is this unique no so what should we do so what do we do we start from a we start removing the characters until the substring becomes unique again so if i remove a can i say my substring is unique again yes because b c a it is unique right so what can i say can i say this substring is unique yes so what is the current answer current answer is 3 now let's move forward again b c a d is this still unique yes this is also still unique so now the answer becomes 4 now what about b c d a b is this a unique substring now no this is not a unique substring so now we what do we do we start removing from the left so let's we start remove b is my substring unique now yes it is unique now so we stop here so now we are here okay so currently my answer is 4 only now i move forward i see this is this a unique substring no so what do we do we remove c and it becomes unique again so this is unique now i include this this is again not unique so i have to remove a so now d b c a this is unique now what do we do d b c a e is it unique yes this is also unique so my answer is 5 now now i move forward what about this no now a is repeating so i start removing from here if i remove d will it become unique still not so what about now if i remove db no what about this no what about this yes now it becomes unique so we have to delete four characters in this case so now again we got this unique substring right and finally this is again a unique substring so what is my final answer now what was the maximum length unique substring it was this d b c a e so in this case my answer is 5 so i hope our approach is clear so now let's start how will we implement it so let's go back to the coding again and we'll see that okay so what we do we start iterating on the string from left to right so i need a variable to iterate from left to right now i have to store the information right whether a string is present or not whether a character is present or not so for that i can use a boolean array right i can use a boolean array which stores whether the character is present or not right so let's say i name is present or is present now what should be the size of this array remember in the question it is given that s consists of all english letters digits symbols and spaces so how many total different characters are possible there are 256 characters right there are total 256 different characters so i create my array of size 256 and i currently make everything as false it means that currently there is no character present okay now what should i do now first i check if the uh, the character at ith index is present in my array or not s of i if s of i is present what should i do 
if f of i is present what should i do i should try to remove the characters from the beginning so i again need a start variable which is pointing at zero so now what should i do can i say instead of is present also i should also take the frequency of the characters because frequency is also helpful so i will initialize current frequency as zero if the frequency is greater than zero right so instead of is present we can call it as frequency or instead of is frequency it is frequency if the frequency is greater than zero then what should we do while the frequency of s of i is greater than zero we should start removing the characters from the beginning or from the start so what should we do frequency of s of a start minus minus we reduce the count and we do what we increase the start as well now after this after this what should we do we also take one answer initially my answer is zero so what should i do answer is equals to max of answer comma i minus start plus one. now let's look at here what is happening so i start from left to right this is i is traversing start is initially zero and my answer is also zero which is the maximum length now what should i do when the frequency of the current character is greater than zero if it is not greater than zero what should i do first of all i should increase the frequency frequency of s of i plus plus and what should i take my current length should be equals to the ith index minus start index plus one that is how you find the length of the substring right after this i again go to i equals to one and again if the frequency is not greater than zero i increase the frequency and i update my answer answer is always max of the existing answer now at some point my frequency becomes greater than zero so what should i do while the frequency is greater than zero i start removing characters from the beginning which means i start reducing the frequency from the start so start is currently zero i reduce the frequency of s of start and i increment my start it means that now the start is moving in the right direction as well which means we are removing the characters which are before the start and so on and so forth until my frequency of s of i again becomes zero and at that point i increase the frequency of s of i plus plus and then do the same thing and finally i return my answer so let's see whether this is correct or not okay let's submit it okay so our solution is correct and if you see the runtime beats 96 percent of the people who submitted the code and the memory beats 74 percent people okay so this is the solution the problem and what do you think is the time complexity of this code what is the time complexity of this code if you see here we are starting from left to right so our i is going from so if you analyze analysis the analyze the time complexity our i is going from 0 to n minus 1 right so how many iterations is this n iterations and also we are also 
you also can see there is a while loop also right here there is also a while loop so are you thinking that okay there are a nesting loop so this this the worst case complexity is n square here some of you might be thinking that that the worst case complexity here is n square but that is not correct why now we know that i is going from 0 to n minus 1 in while loop what are we doing can i say i'm incrementing start what start starts from zero what is the maximum value start can take start can also go up to n minus one only so start variable can also go from zero to n minus one only right that is the maximum iterations the start will do so again these are also n iterations so in total how many iterations are happening total only maximum 2n iterations are happening so what is the time complexity time complexity is order n only and what is the space complexity space complexity is interesting space is actually order 1 because why we are taking only order 256 space which is order 1 only because we are taking the constant space okay so with this we have solved our first problem longest substring without repeating characters with this we are done with today's video and in the next set of videos i am going to cover more and more problems and hopefully this problem you understood completely and uh, you are able to solve it now okay if there is any doubt drop it in the comment box and if you like this video you can you can actually like this video on the youtube so that it helps reaching more people and if you want to see the more such videos to see all this lead code series you can subscribe to my channel as well so until the next video bye bye